Hi guys, in this video I'm going to share with you my top 3 favorite apps to take meeting minutes on an iPad. So first up is the Notes app. So this is a stock app that comes with your every iOS device. The reason why I picked this app is because of the integration it has with your Apple Pencil. If you have ever walked into a meeting late and then you just quickly want to start taking some notes, then this is the best app because you don't have to open the iPad, look for the correct application and then open a new note and then start typing or then or taking any scribbles. With notes, all you have to do is just flip open the screen, take out your Apple Pencil, click on the screen twice and you're already inside and you're ready to take notes. And what I don't like about this app is the editing functions because I think they are very basic. And when you want to send these meeting minutes as an email and this is what it looks like. You can see that the layout of the meeting minute is okay, it's not that great looking but at least it will get the message across. Now let's move on to the second app on our list which is Evernote. Mainly the editing functions are better here because you can change the font size, you can change the font color, you can highlight text and both apps have the options to add photos and then add annotation but Evernote is better again because it uses the technology behind Scannable. This is a huge benefit if you ask me because if you are in a meeting and if somebody drew something on the whiteboard and you want to take a photo then Evernote has the capability of producing a better media file than the Notes app. Also with Evernote you can add voice memos directly within the app unlike Notes. Like Notes you can send a copy of the meeting minutes via email. Our third and final pick, which is my most favorite, is the Less Meeting app. Now let's open the app. First thing you see on the left are how many meetings you have uh, today by agenda, notes and recurrence. You can tap the huddle to create a new meeting, change the subject to something meaningful, set a start time and the length. As soon as you do that, you can see that there is a timer on the right hand corner which is ticking. If you click general discussion, you can select what type of comments you want to add like note, decision or in this case, I'm just going to select action. Depending on what you choose, it will give you certain feedback like for action, you can assign this to someone and put a due date on this. If you click the plus sign on the left, you can add more things to your agenda. If you click edit, you can also get rid of things that you don't need as well. There is another cool feature. If someone goes off topic in the meeting, you can put these items in this area called a parking lot. Then the rest are pretty standard like take a photo of a whiteboard or scan some document etc. Then you can record something within the app which I think is really cool. Um, but now this is where I think this app beats the rest of the apps and blows them out of the water completely. Because when you want to send these meeting minutes out as an email, this is what the layout looks like. And this is very clean, very professional looking. So these are my top 3 apps that I will be using to take meeting minutes on my iPad but I would love to hear what you'll be using to take meeting minutes in the comment section down below. So if you like what you just saw please hit the like and subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next one.